liquid metal batteries, invented by MIT professor Donald Sadaway and his students a decade ago, are a promising candidate for making renewable energy more practical. The batteries, which can store large amounts of energy and thus even out the ups and downs of power production and power use, are in the process of being commercialized by a Cambridge-based startup company, Umbri. Now, Saddleway and his team have found yet another set of chemical constituents that could make the technology even more practical and affordable, and open up a whole family of potential variations that could make use of local resources. The latest findings are reported in the journal Nature Communications, in a paper by Sadaway, who is the John F. Elliott Professor of Materials Chemistry, and postdoc Takenari Auchi, along with Hojong Kim, now a professor at Penn State University, and Ph.D. student Brian Spatocco at MIT. They show that calcium, an abundant and inexpensive element, can form the basis for both the negative electrode layer and the molten salt that forms the middle layer of the three-layer battery. That was a highly unexpected finding, Saddleway says. Calcium has some properties that made it seem like an especially unlikely candidate to work in this kind of battery. For one thing, calcium easily dissolves in salt, and yet a crucial feature of the liquid battery is that each of its three constituents forms a separate layer, based on the material's different densities, much as different liqueurs separate in some novelty cocktails. It's essential that these layers not mix at their boundaries and maintain their distinct identities. It was the seeming impossibility of making calcium work in a liquid battery that attracted Auchi to the problem, he says. It was the most difficult chemistry to make work but had potential benefits due to calcium's low cost as well as its inherent high voltage as a negative electrode. For me, I'm happiest with whatever is most difficult, he says which, Saddleway points out, is a very typical attitude at MIT. Another problem with calcium is its high melting point, which would have forced the liquid battery to operate at almost 900 degrees Celsius, which is ridiculous, Saddleway says. But both of these problems were solvable.